Hey guys, I was going to do a little short tutorial for you. Um, not that I'm an expert on this. I have, I am not good at this at all, but I just discovered a way that you can use your Mica, Mica and Glitter Golux Mix from Frontage on your papers. And you can get this effect. To me, it looks like kind of like stained glass. And of course, you can mix your colors and make it really look like stained glass. And nothing comes off. There is a few steps that you have to do to this. So bear with me and we'll see if we can get through this. I'm not the greatest at tutorials, but I'll just show you what I did. And you can go from there. Okay, I'm just going to cut some strips of score tape. Just long enough to, you see this image, just long enough to cover the back side of that image. I'm not going to actually cover the back side of it, I'm just going to cover this paper. This is just a piece of scrap cardstock, and I know you can't see that very well right now, but you'll be able to see it in a minute. All right, put your score tape just as close together as you can. Even if you have to overlap it a little bit, it will not hurt. Just lay it down as close as you can get it. Okay. Shouldn't take more than three pieces. This is the one inch, so we should be good with that. I'm just going to cut that one off so that it won't stick to everything. Okay, then make sure they're burnished down good. And then just peel up, peel off the top side, if I can peel it off. I have no fingernails, so... Oh, fingernails are good for something. Okay. So, there we go. Now we have the, the sticky score tape. Okay, and then we're going to take this stencil, and these are from Elizabeth Crafts. And I'm not good at talking and working at the same time, so if I'm quiet, I'm sorry. I'll try my best to explain what I'm doing. Okay, just pull the stencil off as best you can. Most all of these little things will come out when you're pulling it off, but sometimes you'll have one that's a little stubborn. And you just have to take it off, take it out. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame too. Okay. So take those out. And on my other one, of course, when you're doing a video, nothing works right. On my other one, all of these came out when I pulled it off. This one's going to be stubborn. Okay. Now, if you have just a tad bit of water, you can make this thing lay down a lot better. So I'm going to put just a little water on my mat right there. And then I'm just going to touch the back of this just a little. That keeps it from sticking to you and gets it to stick down to the paper. And I still see something right there that I don't like. And I'm thinking... Okay. All right, so we've got that to where it's going to stick to the paper and not me, hopefully. So then you're going to stick it down. And you know what? I'm going to have to put one more piece of score tape on there for it to be wide enough. No, I'm not. Never mind. I just didn't see well. Okay. Then just lay this down on there. Take the pieces of the backing of the score tape and make it stick down really well. You can't touch it with your fingers because it's going to stick to you and not the paper. And let's see, I think I still have a little piece right there that I want to get out. I'll probably end up tearing something.
Okay. I'm going to leave it alone because it's going to be stubborn and not going to come out. This, you'll, you'll get the technique anyway. Okay, and then take your... This is Frontage Go Lux Mix Micas and Glitter. Now, the flakes in here are minerals. Minerals do not melt. So this is not going to melt like an embossing powder does. That's why you can't just use your... Um, Hang on, sorry. Just lost my train of thought. That's why you can't just use your Versamark and put it down and then put this on top of it because it's not going to stick. It's not going to melt. When you try to melt it, it's just going to blow everywhere. So take this, shake it up really well because your fine glitter goes to the bottom. And it's going to be a little messy. And I know. I don't like a big mess any better than anyone else does, but it makes a really pretty image, okay? Alright, now, once you get that on there, just take your finger and just squish it down in there, okay? Alright, then take that. Pull it up, and you're gonna, it's going to look horrible for a minute. It's really going to look rough because you're going to want to get all the little flakes off. And, yeah, you're going to waste a little of this if you don't cut around your image first. I didn't cut around mine first, but you can if you want to, and then you won't waste any of this on the outside, which I probably won't waste that anyway. I'll scrape it off and reuse it. Okay, and you can see now... Your flakes are sticking to the score tape that's under the bottom. I told you I can't talk and do this at the same time. So you have your flakes, and you can feel around and see if there's places that you still need to put more. So you can see stuck to it and then in, in between the big flakes you've got the little glitter that's stuck back there too. And now I trim my image out before I mod, mod podge it. And I'm sure you can use other things besides mod podge but that's just what I had handy and I grabbed it and used it. But um, I trim mine out before just so that I don't get in on all this because I'm, gonna, I'm planning on reusing that. But you can um, you can put the Mod Podge directly on here, or you can trim it out. So let's just trim it. And you can tell when you cut over those flakes, or fleeks, every how you want to pronounce it, that they are mineral because they do not cut well. They're pretty stubborn. Of course, these scissors are dull too. They're probably a hundred years old. Okay, now we're going to put all of this back in our jar before I make a big mess, bigger than usual. Okay. Okay. So we've got that back in there. Now, all of this little glitter right here, I do not like glitter. I'm not a glitter person. I use one of these, and I think this is like a, a garment brush to get the lint off of your clothes. I use this. And I clean up my workspace because I don't like glitter flying everywhere. My little granddaughter has asthma and she, she has problems if she gets around it and breathes it. So I try to keep it off the floor. So I just get it up with that. As you can see, it picks it up. Picks everything else up that's on your mat too, but it also picks that up. Okay. So that's just a little tip, and I'm sure uh, I'm not the first one that has come up with that. I'm sure somewhere out there, somebody has already discovered that that works well. Okay, so we'll take this back, 
and we'll take our Mod Podge. And now I use, of course this was very, very limber. I use a brush that's not real stiff. And let me get another one because that one's not well. I use a brush that's not really a stiff brush. And if I had a sponge, no, I wouldn't use a sponge because that would probably pull your flakes up. Then you're going to just put a thin layer of Mod Podge over it. And you may, you may have a one little piece that comes up or one that tries to come up. Don't worry about it. Just stick it back down with the Mod Podge. And if you have the Mod Podge spray or the adhesive spray, not adhesive spray, but the Mod Podge spray, I'm sure that would work well too. Okay, so that is all you need to do. You just need to let that dry. And when it dries, you'll have one like this. And like I said, this is not coming off. It's not going anywhere. I will give you a close-up look of it. And you can, like I said, you can mix those colors and make it really look like a um, um, stained glass window or stained glass. Or you can put different colors in there and make your roses really pop. Um, lots of different things that you can do with this. And it's very flexible. You can use it on a project. Do whatever. So any of your peel-off peel stickers that you might have that have open places like this, put score tape behind them on your cardstock. Then put your image down and then sprinkle your Go Lux mix or your mica fragments. This is a mineral too, so they will not melt. Sprinkle these over it, M mash it down, smash it down until you know you get what you want on there, the thickness, and then put your light coat of Mod Podge on it, and you've got it. That's it. I hope this wasn't too boring and I hope you understood um, exactly what I was trying to explain to you. Like I said, I'm not really good at um, talking and doing crafts at the same time. I, I do teach classes, but usually everybody's right here in front of me and it's not talking to a camera. But I hope that this helped somebody out there. I had a couple of people that asked would I show them how to do this and so there you go. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe and watch for the secret letters. Hmm, I wonder if there was one anywhere today. I don't know. Just watch for them. They're going to be, they're not going to be as obvious as the first one. Also, leave your comments for the comment giveaway. We just had one winner that contacted me today. If I send you a, a PM, then you know you have, well, no, I, I take that back. I'm not going to send a PM to the winner. I'm going to announce on the video that the person has won and show their name. And then that person has 48 hours to contact me and let me know that they saw that. And then I will send them their gift. Okay? So thank you all. Hope this helped. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.